Hello, my name is Ilona and today is Monday, November 13th, 2023. Unfortunately, last week was just a mess for me. I was so exhausted, so I didn't make any videos uh, like recapping my life. Uh, I did uh, last week. Uh, hopefully, I'll be uh, getting around for that uh, this week. I'll be doing a, a Dutch live on Tuesday and um, most likely on Friday morning. And I'll try to do a, a, how to say that, a video afterwards if there's some interesting questions that are also interesting for, of course, uh, people outside of the Netherlands. So I will be doing that. I'll be doing another video this week as well. I was supposed to do a video on Thursday and I just couldn't. How do you say this? Like connect two sentences together. It was just too confusing. It's almost like there was like this brain fog and I couldn't think straight. But I just want to start with um, this week, of course. And today I'm going to look, first of all, at the European Union. The European Parliament has come to an agreement about a certain digital identity wallet. So the Commission welcomes final agreement on European Union a digital, the EU digital identity wallet. So they finally are going to push this through. This is uh, an article from November 8th, 2023. And so there's now an agreement reached and they really want to push that through and very large online platforms uh, they want to have this to use for people so they can actually log into Amazon, Booking.com or Facebook, Meta, Meta, I think it's called now. So they really want to use this on, in all kinds of ways. And I've looked at this before at the digital euro and the digital wallet. And I always got the feeling that this is not really going to land very well. They're, they're going to try, they're going to push, they're going to sign things, but ultimately it's about complying. If we don't comply, they're not going to get anywhere. And that's the feeling I was getting, but I just wanted to take a look at it because it's been a while. And of course now they're really are coming out with this and they really want to start doing this. It wouldn't surprise me if they've already completely created this wallet, but doesn't mean it's going to be introduced next week. I'm sure there's still some time ahead, but ultimately this is really about complying or not. And the cards I've got for this digital wallet, this European digital wallet, is the Page of Swords. I've got the Queen of Pentacles as the central card. I've got the Two of Wands as the card in the past. I've got the Two of Swords underneath the Queen of Pentacles. And for the future, I've got the King of Cups and the Hanged Man. Now, these are three cards where there is no movement going on. They're like standing still, just having their hands like this, and he's just hanging around. So to me, especially this one is from the future, it feels to me like this is not really going to get anywhere. It's standing still. This was from the past, so it took quite some time before they finally started doing this. Right now, this is underneath, there's an influence on the central card. So they're really not sure how to proceed with it. Of course, they came to an agreement, but it doesn't mean that they know how to truly you know, push this through because there's so much resistance going on. I truly feel that a lot of people are fed up with this. Uh, we have the page of sorts, more and more information is going to come out about this. And it's important that people talk about this. I don't think this is going to go anywhere in that, even if they completely roll it out, everyone in, in the European Union has this wallet and has to use it. It's up to us for, you know, if we're going to use it or not. It's with those passes here in the Netherlands, we had those passes, of course, um, what happened, you know, the past four, almost four years ago, it started obviously, so people will know what I'm talking about. And we had a pass to go to restaurants, uh, gyms, things like that. I just didn't comply. I just didn't use it. Um, I just didn't go very simple. So uh, the, not that I, you know, go out a, a lot, but if I do, I picked a restaurant where there was no issue with that. So you didn't have to show anything. And I still support those. If I do go out for dinner, I support, of course, the restaurants that were, uh, you know, against these 
passes and weren't using them at that time. And I ignore, of course, the restaurants that did use it. But, you know, not just in the Netherlands, but other countries, they were even stricter. So you couldn't get in without stings or a proof that you, you know, I even read about that. There's going to be another uh, video I'm going to make about, uh, well, it has to do with soccer and stings and sports and things like that. But even certain uh, countries, you couldn't even enter a sports game as a fan if you didn't show proof of stings. It's just sad. So we had a pass. Uh, also a health pass, you had to show that you had stings or that you uh, were, uh, you know, you made it through what was going around in that time period, things like that. So you had a recovery bill or something, you know, that you could show or that you recovered from it, things like that. I didn't do any of that. I just refused to, do, to have anything to do with that. So what I'm sensing here that is that it's not going to go anywhere ultimately because people are uniting and are like no we're not going to do it and this is what the, it's also about showing people people have to experience it like uh, what i'm mentioned in many videos what has happened the past you know the last almost four years now people are now aware that it can happen again because most of the time when you'd have, even before that, way before that people knew, certain people were already completely aware what the agenda was, what was going on, were already warning people, but nobody believed them because, well, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen here. And now they know that it can happen. And this is part of that. So I think a lot of people are just waking up because of this information. So it's important that it's shared, that people see this, but I'm not, I don't see it going anywhere, truly going anywhere. And it's really up to us. I understand that people are terrified, but what if it, it is, you know, they, they're going to use this and I won't be able to do all these things. That's a choice ultimately to make. But we are spiritual beings having a human experience. If we refuse to do that with our energies, we're just not going to comply. That is a massive wave frequency that we send out. And I understand that it sounds very vague for people. Of course, they want to do practical things, but ultimately it's about our energy. They need our energy to really truly create this and get this going. If we just refuse to comply, it stops. They don't have the energy to create this or put this forward. They won't have the energy to go anywhere. And I think we really need to focus on our own strength, on what we can do. And ultimately, it's about our energy. We, we don't comply, it stops. And I think that's the most important part. But like I said, they're, they're going to try it. They're going to try to make this a thing. Of course, they already have all these things behind because it's part of the agenda. So they do have things ready to go, so to speak. But it's like they don't really know how to put this forward because there is already so much resistance. People are already saying, you know, cash is king. We're going to keep continue paying cash which is of course against this, it's not gonna work with this digital wallet. And obviously that's not what they want to. They want to push this through, connect everything. So your stings, uh, your health, your uh, you know driver's license, your account, they all want it connected and know everything you're doing. So when you have to go on the internet, you'll have to use that as well. So they know exactly what you're doing. Uh, you know, they want full control. That's what they want. And this is their way of doing that. But I don't see it going anywhere. So that's the feeling I'm getting from this digital wallet. I also looked at the energy for this week. And it was just interesting. We have the Four of Cups, the Two of Pentacles and the Hermit. So this is the energy for coming weeks. So it feels like a lot of things will be coming out. People just had it. People are fed up with this. People are feeling left out in the cold. They are retreating from organizations, from governments, from seeing that this is not going to work out. There is some sort of balance in a way, the two of pentacles, but it could also be like a new balance. So it could be like suddenly a few days, a lot of things are coming out and then another day kind of slows down. But the main issue is that people are fed up. Humanity is fed up. And I think we're going to notice more and more this week. We all see uh, in Spain, a lot of people are rising up there. 
we see probably around the world maybe more people you know countries rising up fed up with everything but it's just pulling away from all these organizations these governments uh, not you know giving away your power anymore it's taking back your power but people are fed up humanity is pretty fed up with everything and i think that's a good sign because that will keep me people moving and they'll get out of their comfort zone and in a way, you know, start changing things, not wanting to follow the line of what the government comes up with. So we're going to see that this week. And the advice, this is very interesting. We have strength, we have the five of wands and we have the five of swords. These are two pretty, uh, how do you say this, uh, heavy cards, as you can see. And this is really about... Uh, what I've noticed myself, a lot of energy is going on uh, last week. I've noticed it in, in, you know, in myself, there was so much exhaustion, but also people with short fuses, uh, certain situation, miscommunication, things are just falling apart. So this week will probably continue a little bit with that. But it's also about the what's going on inside of ourselves, because if we are in touch with ourselves, with our intuition. We don't have to worry about all these things happening in our environments. These, uh, we're not going to be dragged along with it. But right now, especially with all these energies, there's a lot of triggering going on. So watch out for also inner, you know, um, strife inside of yourself, uh, power struggles, maybe even inside yourself, certain parts of you, certain negative parts can come up. You can see it in in your surroundings family members maybe at work uh, things can get very hectic and then it is really about stepping into your own strength and really be there for yourself ground yourself because then you can withhold this and also if you feel things like this coming up inside of yourself shadow work you can deal with it and it will just bring you more and more strength but we are really heading for quite a week at least maybe more uh, inside of ourselves and uh, outside we're going to see it in our environments but i do see a lot of people and humanity pretty fed up with the situation as it is so we're going to see more of that that's the feeling i'm getting i'd like to leave it at this and i hope to see you another video bye